Nadine, welcome back. Hello. Does it feel like you've been away? No, not really. <laughs> not really. Every time I go, I come back the minute I land. I'm like, oh, here we go. It's just everything goes back to normal again. But you're having such a busy lady. You've got the single out this week. You've got the album out next week. Yes. Was it something that you wanted to take your time over a little bit? Definitely. Because we had worked so much for so many years, me and the girls. It was, you know, years of just non-stop doing stuff. So then when we had our time, we were like, oh, let's take a break. I was like, I'm taking an actual break. Yeah. You know, I need to just <laughs> sit back, put my feet up, think about different stuff. And then when I was doing that, then, because I was an EMI writer, mm -hmm. EMI had sent me to do a lot of writing with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And then songs just started to come together and I had been writing using the garage band. And then all of a sudden, like this more than an album started to come together and people were like, who are you putting this out with? And what are you mm -hmm. gonna do about this? And and then I took a whole other route of, you know, opening the label and and going doing the retail on Daily Task. expect from the album have you gone for a, a different sound was it important for you to have a different sound as a solo art artist to the stuff you were doing with girls aloud it was very it was very just natural and mm -hmm. um, the songs kind of came out just came very naturally a lot of the writing was stuff from your subconscious mm -hmm. meaning that stuff I wouldn't necessarily say to somebody but when I sat down to write a song stuff came out and in Girls Aloud, it was uh, always so fun and upbeat, so I have that element on there. Um, but then also a more personal element because I was able to, you know, to write and be heavily involved in the production and stuff. And you were quoted in the press recently as saying you want, want to do shows like X Factor or Strictly because it might mean that you can't live. Is that a bit of a storm in a teacup or is that something that you actually said that I don't like people that mime, I would only want to perform live? I like that, that saying storm in a teacup, I'm going to mm. use that again, yeah. that's exactly <laughs> what that was. Really? It came from something about doing, I, I'm assuming, I'm just going to assume, um, I would, I love singing live, I love, you know, being able to perform live and stuff like that and that's really why I wanted to be a singer. Mm. But I didn't say anything about, oh, I wouldn't do X Factor because it's not live or I wouldn't do this because you can sing it live. Mm. So I would just do it live. <laughs> would you like to do either show? Have you been at? I've done both of those shows before. Yeah. As part of the girls. I think we've done them twice, once or twice. Congratulations oh, on your you. engagement. You must thank be very excited you. about that. It's nice. It's really, really nice. And Jason's an American footballer, mm -hmm. so does that technically make you a wag? No, <laughs> no. He's an ex-American football oh, right. player. He yeah. hurt his back, so he had to get operations and stuff. So now he's a financial advisor. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. He's gone down a different route I entirely. I know, which I like, because mm. it's, you know, the more studious man and yeah. reads books and does all it's that. It's quite sexy, of... that, the suit. It is. The briefcase. The, uh, he's got the briefcase. He's got the shirt. He's Very got nice. the whole thing going on. Now, I did interview Nicola Roberts a month ago when she was was launching her new makeup right, range right. and she said that it was quite weird for her being up there on her own without mm -hmm. the rest of the girls from Girls Aloud. Do you ever feel like that? It's definitely different, definitely mm. takes time to get used to when I done the, the writing process because we always kind of wrote, sang separately um, that when it was coming to doing stuff then separately mm. I was like oh my god that's right they're not going to show up later on yeah. or gonna show up tomorrow I was like oh do you miss them yeah yeah it's really it's a lot it's very quiet because mm. so much again has been written about it can you set the record straight for us are you all friends yes good we are. <laughs> when was the last time you saw them and do you think they could be bridesmaids at your wedding I see the wedding thing I know people keep saying where do you people get married I'm like know. They're dying I to haven't know. even had an engagement party Really? Yeah, not even anything to do with the celebration. So it might be quite a long engaged. engagement. It'll be a long, long engagement. Yeah. And I think that's good too, because then it gives you something to look forward to. There's a lot of planning goes into a wedding, and you're obviously very busy with the album and everything you've got going on at the moment, so that might be wise to put it off a little put bit. Put it off. Yeah, Look, look through the magazine. Yeah. You know, do all leisure. that fun stuff, mm. and then 
in ten years, five, ten years, then yeah. think about getting married. Oh, you've got, not ten years, Nadine. You can't leave us waiting that long. Years, five years. Maybe five years. years. Yeah. But have you been watching Cheryl on the X Factor? And what do you think of her as a I judge? I have been rehearsing so mm. much, literally every single night. That's why I had to just get a lock up there now. So I haven't even, I haven't seen any TV. Just finally, I hate to say it, but Christmas is coming soon. Yes. Are you going to be spending it in LA or Derry? It was supposed to be Derry. Yeah. Um, and now I don't know. You don't know? It's my, it's it my mommy and daddy. It's wherever my family are is where I kind of have to gravitate towards to. So depending on whether, in Ir whether that's Ireland or LA or somewhere random but maybe a number one single and a number one album would be a fantastic uh, early christmas uh, present for you yes that would be lovely but i am just fingers, fingers crossed. crossed that it does well i hope people like the stuff i'm really not trying to do anything hectic or crazy just kind of just go with it and it's been a really good experience i'm really enjoying it and hopefully i can continue well it's been lovely chatting with you and i wish you all the best you with too. it thanks Nadine. thank you cheers Ooh.